happy morning dear children how are you all i hope you are fine right so in today's session we will learn about story writing you all like stories isn't it even everybody like stories from child from lkg child onwards you used to ask stories your bedtime stories to your parents and others if they are saying stories you will be interested in hearing stories right so we are going to develop story writing skills now shall we right what is actually story writing story writing is a work of fiction or imagination it may be a real story or it may be an imaginary story fiction or non fiction right that is usually written in easily understandable grammatical structure with natural flow of speech how uh, you could have heard many stories how they are saying stories in the same way you have to create a story and you have to write on your own that is what a story writing right story writing is meant to be read at a single sitting and there if therefore it should be as direct and as brief as possible right you are going to develop your story writing skill in this session how to write how to write a story that is what right what's your story now in this session what are your learning objective you are going to set a goal in today's session to think about story writing you are going to talk about important parts of your story you are going to think about the settings and the characters you are going to think about the story plans and openings settings events and resolutions right now thinking about settings so what is a setting dear from your 4th uh, 5th standard onwards you are learning about settings settings is where the story actually takes place it could be anywhere for example maybe a cottage or a haunted house or even a park or a school campus or uh, whatever it is the place where the story uh, takes place is called a uh, settings right here i have given an example of settings can you able to see that palace beach right a forest all that all these are called settings a place where the story takes place is called a settings now characters characters two to four characters are enough for a short story here is how to make them sound really sound right so how they feel using adverbs and adjectives right for example two to four characters we discussed isn't it so pirate names may be scared face bob red beard the horrible buccaneer of the east all these are other names character names it will be innovative or an interesting also it will be totally different from others usually what names you will have like uh, rajesh suresh raja all that but when you are creating your own story you can have a uh, super uh, different character names now uh, don't use your friend name in the story that will create a problem really that will create a problem when you use your friend's name use your imagination use names that people don't use often right uh, normal names you avoid using normal names use some different names some imaginative names a uh, funny names okay uh, if you are doing any humorous character you can uh, definitely use funny names in uh, one film i heard a name as singapuli okay so like that you can have different different names describe what they look who are they and how they move and maybe how they talk also so all these description 
about the character should be present. So, example, uh, I feel very tired, angry, excited. So, emotion. Emotions can be expressed happily, sadly, curiously. So, all these are emotional characters that can be given to the characters. Emotions can be given to the characters. Now, your small activity. Now, for you, pick two of these characters and write three to four sentences about them. What is it? You have to pick. I have given nearly seven characters here. Pick any two characters. Right? And you have to write three or four sentences about them. Can you? Yes, you can able to write. I know that everybody like him. Isn't it? Who is he? Tell me afterwards, right? Now, how do I start a good story? So, I actually decided the settings. I uh, had a character also. Now, how do I start a good story? Now, there are three different ways to start a good story. One is dialogue. Dialogues, shark, shouted the ship's lookout. Hundreds of them, they seem to be heading our way, cried the captain. So, these are all the dialogues which they say actually it has to be present. See the punctuations within double quotes, within double quotes, right? Can you able to see my hands within double quotes? Now, actions. An ear-splitting whistle made all the pirates leap to attention. At once, they ran in different directions, bumping into one another, scrambling over untidy piles of ropes and tarpaulins, sliding down rickety ladders, all trying to be the first in the queue for lunch. For what they are running? They have to stand in a queue for lunch. For that, they are running like this. Okay. Description. The sea glistened like a sparkling silver mirror. Waves lapped gently at the sides of the saucy sioux as she sailed silently along, the, along in the cool, refreshing breeze. Her jolly roger flag fluttering limply. Seagulls circled overhead, calling to each other. No one would guess what terrible adventure lay ahead for Captain Pegleg and his crew of daring pirates. So, this is a description. See how beautifully they are describing the sea glistened. Glistened is sh shining like a sparkling silver mirror. And Fantastic explanation, description, sparkling like a silver mirror. Waves, how the waves are? Lap gently at the sides of the saucy sioux as she sailed silently along in the cool, refreshing breeze. So, the air which is coming also, they are uh, using the adjectives as cool, refreshing, right? Then... Her jolly roger flag fluttering limply. Seagulls. Seagull is a bird. Seagulls circled overhead. Calling to each other. So, circling overhead. Why? It is making a call to each other. No one would guess what terrible adventure they lay ahead for Captain Pegleg. Pegleg is the name of the Captain and his crew. Crew is a group of, it's a collective noun. Crew of daring pirates. So, this is how you have to start a good story. So, you are now supposed to write an excellent story. Okay. So, what uh, questions you have to raise in yourself to write an excellent story. Right. That is what we are going to see now. Who? What, how, where, when and why. What are they? Who, what, how, where, when and why. 
First is the little girl ran quickly to the shop to get some bread at 7 a.m. So her mom can make toast. Who? The answer is little girl. See the color combination which we have given. Light blue. Who? The answer is also in light blue so that you can relate these two words. Who? The little girl. What? To get some bread. How? Ran quickly. Where? To the shop. When? At 7 a.m. Why? Her mom can make toast. Okay. So, these are all the answers. So, you have to raise question to yourself when you are writing stories. Who, what, how, where, when and why. All these questions has to be answered and the answers will become stories. Right? Use these ways to improve your writing. See, all these are uh, grammatical terms, alliteration, rhyme, animotifio, similes, metaphors. So, alliteration, the same letter, same words will appear again and again. For example, yes, yes. When I ask you in our uh, school also, when we are introducing, we will ask you to introduce yourself with adjectives starting with the same letter. Suppose a girl named Sharmila is there. Smiling Shamila. Yes, yes. Starting with the word smiling is yes. Shamila starting letter is yes. So, alliteration is two or more words that starts with the same letter. Example, scary spiders. Yes, starting letter is scary. Yes. And the spiders is also yes. Next is rhyme. So, when we are reading a poem or uh, when you are experiencing a poem, you definitely make use of rhyming word. Right? So, rumble, tumble. Next is animatophio. Words that sound like the thing they, they describe. Like coins you are tossing. Right? So, what is the sound? When you are tossing, the coin is... Falling down. What is the noise of that coin? Tinkling coins. Tinkling is a noise or sound that was made by the coin. That is what is tinkling. Tinkling coins, jangling or tinkling coins. So, these are all the words which are represented to have the sound. Sound of the specified things. Okay, similes. Similes you could have read in 4th also, 4th, 5th standard. They compare one thing to another and are introduced as like or as. So, like and as, as are the two uh, words which are used to represent similes. Example, the wet mud was sticky like fudgy cake. So, Sticky fudge cake, both are related. They are separate, two different things, but it is connected to a common thing called stickiness, right? Metaphors, metaphors compare one thing to another, but not introduced by like or as. The wet mud was sticky fudge cake. So, indirectly they will say, that is what is called metaphor. Similes, we will uh, use the word like. Here in metaphor, we will not use any word as like. Directly, we will say the wet mud was sticky fudge cake. You have to assume that mud and fudge cake are related or it is compared. Right? So, indirect meaning will be there in metaphor. So, that is it dear. We will continue in the next session because uh, time is not there and you have to improvise your story writing skills. Right? Thank you dear.